Sunday drive out. Yeah, well, thank you for driving me to the uh, championship final. That it's is quite okay. exciting. I mean, I'm sure you actually have better things to do than show for me around, but you know, the weather's a bit rubbish here. Pretty fancy. Look at that. Look at this. This is not how I imagined Monaco at all. I can't say I imagined it like this at all either. However, it's cool to be here. It is very cool. Where's where's the most amazing place? Because obviously, you know, you've been driving for a little while, you know, here and there. Um, where's kind of the most incredible place you've been to? Oh, God, that's a good question. Problem is, is when you're a driver, you don't actually see that much. <laughs> so it's like, I can tell you the best hotel and the best airport I've seen. Um, <laughs> But there's something called places. One of the most enjoyable weekends I've ever had was when I raced in India last year. Yeah. Um, because that was just so different. Um, is it, I suppose, you know, there is a lot of kind of money in racing. You, you tend to see, do you tend to only see one side of a place that you're in, like the side that has money a little bit? A little bit, yeah. I mean, yeah, there's that side of it. But I think when you go to somewhere like India, you get to see a bit more culture, then you can't avoid it. Whereas a lot of other places we go, you don't really see anything other than the track, the hotel, and the, yeah, the airport. They've got some nice, nice, I appreciate their tarmac. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <It's> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you actually started racing a little bit later than most would say, right? You started at 13. Um, what was it that kind of gave you that first impetus to kind of get into it? What was the kind of spark? Yeah, I guess, yeah, relatively late. Um, I, most kids are so young, it's stupid now when they get into it. But yeah, yeah I kind of, I had a bit of a sport, sporting background. So yeah. I think for me, it was quite, I guess natural to be competitive and so you coming? No. Uh, and natural to yeah want to do different sports. Yeah. So then I guess that wasn't the big thing. I guess oh, I'm gonna go this way. Um, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, when I kind of got into motorsport, it was like the speed, the adrenaline, everything that added into that competitive nature of being a sport. Yeah. Suddenly everything put together. I was like, this is amazing this is yeah. the best thing and I think I like the sort of instant feeling of the feedback you were getting quite quickly and how you knew if you're doing well or if you weren't and you, you could improve the start, yeah like, more or less yeah yeah more or less okay, yeah I get it yeah what and then your folks say were they just like uh do you want to try we could do tennis yeah yeah, yeah. well they to be fair to my parents they've always been so supportive of everything I've done mm. um which I'm always super lucky about um but I think, yeah, if it wasn't motorway, it would have been a different sport. My older brother actually was the one that dragged the family originally into it. Yeah. Uh, he's the one that took us, uh, well, went go-karting for the first time. Yeah. And so he was the reason I started a bit of sibling rivalry. And then, yeah, they kind of, my parents. You win. Yeah, yeah. You win. So he, he was, loses. yeah, he was the <laughs> guinea pig for my parents. He was the one that would like go to a different team for the first time and be like, okay, that doesn't work. And then I'll go and it'll be like <laughs> all planned out because he had uh, done the test job for it. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a slightly unnatural way to get into it, especially because most kids all come from motor racing backgrounds. But yeah. I think it helps in a way because it means that I haven't, I'm not forced to do it. No one's telling me I have to go racing. I'm doing it because I want to do it. Does anything else in life come vaguely close to the feeling of winning? I can't, honestly, I don't think so. Like that kind of emotion, that everything, and because it is a team sport and it is so many people that are involved. It is honestly the most unbelievable feeling I've ever, ever had in my life. I don't know, it's just mad imagining like we're just driving at 50 kilometers an hour, but imagining got yeah. F1 coming around here. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah. The way I've kind of started changing my approach to racing, and especially in the last few years, is kind of to always have this relaxed feeling. And when you're stressed, you start thinking about little things that you don't need to worry about okay, and yeah, yeah. so you've had a bad day before or something's mm -hmm. happened those things play on your mind when you're stressed I find whereas when you're relaxed those kind of things don't seem to bother you nearly as much so I just try and stay on uh, stay focused on being chilled out being relaxed not getting stressed by little things and it's not always easy to do the pressures can be very high but when you are chilled and laid back and yeah. relaxed that's when I drive my best and it's just enjoying it really as well. It's really cliche, but it's so easy to not enjoy the moments because you're so stressed by how yeah. you know intense the environment is that when you go uh, and look back at it, you're like, oh, I was driving race cars like round yeah. amazing tracks. It's like, perspective. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I could be stuck in an office and this is Honestly, it is that, and you find yourself feeling like a bit of a spoiled brat half the time. <laughs> um, I mean, obviously, you know, this is the first time you kind of like 
got the full kind of Gran Turismo experience. Like, what's kind of been your impression? I think people was a bit like surprised. I don't know what they expect. They expect like four guys in a room with some cables. Yeah, or I don't know. Yeah, to be fair, I'm quite lucky. I've had a bit of like esports experience. Yeah, the Gran Turismo stuff out of everything that I've uh, gone to and experienced, unbelievable. And I'm not, I'm not the kind of person just to say that for no reason. It's uh, an incredible setup, and the people that you know are involved and the people that are supporting it is amazing. We saw Lewis there on the yeah. first day. Even I was sort of stunned to be able to yeah. watch watch him speak and be so honest and open with all the drivers. But also, yeah, just to be here in Monaco, you guys have been to obviously Japan and all sorts of amazing places. It's, yeah, it's incredible. And I'm hopefully going to get a bit more involved because not only that, but the game itself is a great game. So, yeah, um, yeah it's be good for me to be actually able to use it a little bit more.